What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to pick up where we left off, at the moment my job is to push the splintered Mughal forces out of my lands. And the next stage of this is this force under Peter Lacey attacking the army of Sikandar Pani. Um, so yeah, so this army has moved up from, right from Narun, crossed over the frontier. No, sorry, this is a different army, this one was originally moving down southwest this side of the river but rather than attacking them and pushing them west and forcing them to scatter into nowhere brought them back over the river and fought them here that way it will knock them back the direction I want to advance in later on so let's crack on seems to be going well on my Indian campaign I've attacked from the northwest coast well, north, northwest coast I've, taken, I've attacked from northwest India the Iran region I've landed on the southern tip of India I've also landed to the eastern coast, to the eastern borders of India. Withstand the assault. So I must maintain the pressure where possible. So as I'm advancing, or I am going to be on the offensive, I want to deploy a battery. Keep a unit of um, uh, militia nearby. Then let's form... my line ready to advance some of my line is going to be very thin because I don't not bothered about optimizing it in the minute let's put a bit of flank protection for my guns not a crazy amount let's line up all my mounted troops to the rear with my general turn fire will off general's in position So this, my line, advance up, all of my cavalry and my camels, go to the right, you on quick line, you should have been on quick line, my mistake. Run these guys into position because cavalry is moving up. So maybe bring back one unit. Sit still. Those are pikemen indeed. So maybe bring my cavalry that way is a wrong idea. Form a line, let's call my cavalry back. To be honest. unit of basic musketeers back there they've got some musketeers so let's get my artillery to focus fire on them and away from my main line let's advance these guys back or not because they're about to waver so I know they're pikes but I'm going to try to actually no I'm not I'm going to halt bring them back because that's no a bit indecisive but as they're wavering push on in you 
drive into them. You, same as well. You all go straight onto the bodyguard. May as well. You all straight into the Union Musketeers. Focus on the dervishes. Turn my artillery off, turn you off. Oh no, actually focus on this unit. Cavalry's routing, doesn't matter. Focus on them. Haha, <laughs> load of them. Got killed routing back the other way. I'm not sure what caused it. Probably the general. Going my general in around this. See, even camels can chase up and do some good. Oh, they're going to rout. Camels are going to rout. There a straight run. There is a straight run. No obstacles in the way. Pretty sure that's a straight run. Except for you, maybe. Yes, you. And let's get those guys to catch them out. Two guys. Got them. Except the uh, few more casualties from my side than I would otherwise need. But it doesn't mean that I can chew them up in combat exactly where I want them to be. Good. And I can always replenish. It's not a deal. It's not a big problem for me. 30,000, good. Is any, no no trees been, trade has been freed up. It's just... Is it just tax? Hmm. Karkath is now growing nicely. Cool. So you're focusing on classic economics. To be honest... Yeah, let them work on it. It's a good university, it's a big university, and it's researching a useful tech. Nope, the British just want to be annoying in, in Courland rather than do anything useful. They just want to raid. Which, you need to know, I get. Fair enough. 
but you expect them to do a bit more. But yes. Now I've got to watch out for pressure. How quickly will they be able to mope? Well, I don't have to worry about it until they take Königsberg. They have just taken an Austrian province on my border. So it might be time for me to build some armies and move them up ready. Even if just for defence, rather than rather than necessarily for attack. Or I could attack them and support my Polish brothers. There you go. Cities are entering the garrisons. Garrisons are entering the cities, I should say. Pirate stiff. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Oh, it's because ten grand's a big expense expanse on a port. Water power cloth mill, good, good, good. New town, candy. Good. Have craft workshops. You have a commercial port. And then let's get you. That is quite nicely replenished, actually. You maintain siege on that, because right now we've got the entire front line under siege. You push on all to resolve this fight. Replenish. Now we can upgrade the steampunk mine. And to be honest, do we need a body house? Not really, because they're really happy. So let's make that a industrial building. I think. Let's bring this army up. Recruit a general, Arthur de Mean. So let's put you guys into the army with you and then let's get some artillery on they go ooh Gurkhas I think I definitely do A because I really respect the Gurkhas in real life and B oh they did get no, yeah they are being recruited in Kashmir good and they might be good to assault Indian cities then let's get some company cavalry that suits the theme I think more so Good, big stack of troops in Moscow. To be honest, somewhere I've got to attack. <laughs> I've got to actually assault, because otherwise it's going to be dead. Well. Nah, you know what? I'm going to let them do what they want to do. Because right now, I'm in, I'm in the commanding position. Pleasure gardens, palatial estates... Yeah, you know what? As you're going to get another town, you can stay as a happiness building. Let's upgrade the cavalry. Or replenish the cavalry, I should say. Cotton mill, no building. Pleasure gardens. Meagy yield iron mine, meh. God, this could be a real... Like a stack of cards folding up, India might just completely fail. Question is, with this Moscow army, do I send it to India? Or do I send it to my western front? And I think I send it to my western front to keep an eye on Minsk. So where is my rake? You infiltrate there. Or maybe infiltrate there. Either way, they're not happy. They may well rebel. Well, they probably will rebel. But the army here, you can get yourself some more infantry. Let's see if we make peace with the Ottomans. Good. Do you want to trade? Fair enough. I'm going to move this army up to this border. You try anything again, I'll go straight for Athens. 
you just accept the fact that this territory is now mine. Sweet. So, research attack. Good. One more turn till I get um, power looms. Is it power looms? It is power looms. Then you'll probably go on to do probably like infantry doctor in this sort of area. Or maybe go do shrapnel shot. Increases upkeep, but shrapnel shot is hella good. Effectively like um, canister shot at range. How are you doing? You're doing solid. Good, good, good. Right, let's hit end turn. Ultimately, it's only so long that the Mughal Empire can actually withstand um, letting me siege their cities. Aha! The first, the first weakening section. You look really familiar. <laughs> Laurent Baudin. Any relation to Nick Baudin? Let's fight. Save on the continent. This is the only territory of theirs I'm bothered about conquering. From that. You mean the Americas may be way down the line? But right now I'm spending all my effort in India. And then I'll increasingly spend my effort in Europe. Because you've got that Prussian power block. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, this is a lovely bit of terrain. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Let's deploy back. Well, they can't deploy too far back. Because they've got their mortars. Good. Give myself trenches. Oh, wow. All my horse guard artillery on one flank. It's going to be incredibly impressive. Because of that, I'm going to put a load of my guards infantry on the right. Maybe balance two units onto the left. Heavy horse, heavy horse artillery. Also, cavalry on the right, general in the centre. Let's make both of them how it's uh, round shot for now, so they can at least get some shots off. <laughs> oh, the mortars are firing. But I've managed to knock out two of the mortars in the, within the first volley, so there's only so much damage they can do. Ooh, I've left a unit of horse uh, cavalry. Let's spread them out a bit more. Let's just target these a bit more. Oh no! I say target them, they've done quite well. This unit of horse artillery wiped off the map. This unit of uh, 12 pound howitzers is a bit weak. These mortars have all but given up. So they're ready now to switch to quicklime, and then just fire at will. First target is going to be those howitzer crews. Unlimber. I forgot to unlimber you. Dear, dear, dear. But yes, this horse guard, heavy horse artillery, is the biggest difference I think adding this um, more units mod oh god they got smashed off their feet just from artillery yes I think it was total factions which added the few minor factions and gave them some new units including like these line guards and units are new I think this Russian Tsar guard unit is new to be honest I've not played with Russia much Okay, let's triple speed it because right now they don't really know how to respond to me because right now they're getting the hell blown out of them 
Back to round shot for them. Because, yeah, we're picking at their last unit of horse artillery, and they, they're the ones that sallied out against me, so I don't know quite what the plan is. Still, they are absolutely free to uh, just let me bombard them with everything I've got. There are more to cruise back. Nope, no they're not. So they are doing this silly thing where they want to keep lining up what they're getting what they're going to do. Rather than actually advance or make a plan, they're like, no, we're gonna redeploy, redeploy, redeploy. God if I'd trap or shall I be making them pay for this right now. Just let them do what they want to do. I want them to uh, get a bit closer. Oh, I can quickline this this unit. Oh yes. Good. Oh yes. Look at that. Fire again. Come on, you're at a perfect angle. Before they get out of range. One gun. Not enough. Okay, let's go back to round shot. Just let the artillery keep pounding them, I suppose. I don't really want to give up my position, because it's a really strong position. Maybe the AI knows it. That's why they're not bothering to attack. Because there's a unit out there that's still deploying. Good, so they've got finally reached a line. Right. Sometimes what works with AI is to uh, run up the old bait and switch, give them a target. Good, let's put them onto quick lime and then just eviscerate everyone. Just get them. <laughs> the artillery is just going to do the absolute business. I'm not even going to fall my flanks in, because there's no point. Yeah, French East India Company infantry, gone. Don't know who the quick climb targeting, but someone missing horrifically, that's what it's doing. So they're routing, routing, routing. General's all the way back there. Teach the firepower of the, of the massed fire by rank. Could have been. General, my 
heavy cavalry is on a special mission to target their general. I think we're just going to speed it up because I don't see this lasting very long. One thing I want to do, folks fire my howitzers, turn off my artillery. To be honest, I could still break the square, but lots of heavy cavalry. continue if I can if I can continue I might be able to actually uh, get the four I didn't check to see how many turns they would last let's just do yeah just constant triple speed that only gives them a chance to gain up to level up level up their experience Everyone on this last unit of seven East India Company troops. Smashing. Off the each fort on the continent, and let's see if we will get peace. I'd like peace and trade, but I don't think they'll accept it. Nope. So I think next turn, that's going to be a quick battle to capture them back. Uh-oh. Prussian armies massing on the Eastern Front. When was the last time this happened? Just let them push south. Let them push south into the Ottomans. That's fine. Have at it. Your time will come, Prussia. That and Poland's still doing quite well. No. I am not going to give you socket bayonets for trade. Unless you became my ally. That's a possibility. Aha! Then I am defending against a force of Mughal attackers from this region. From Arcot. So this region one of, if not the most rich, one of the most the, the most valuable um, provinces in India because of how. So it's heavy on the tax income, which can't, and it can't really be disrupted unless, of course, <laughs> you capture it. But it's So I'm going to go for something a bit of a surprise in this one. I'm going to, I want to go for a... They're selling out. They're selling out, but I want to assault. So I want those guys to cover any breaches. These to blow some holes in the walls. This to drop some nasties with quicklime. Cavalry to keep an eye out just on everything and what's going on. Then these guys deploy over here to try to lay siege to the fortress. Not lay siege to the fortress, but just to storm straight up. To be honest, they all might do that. You all knock down a section of the wall. Including you.
Oh, I didn't have Nimby. So I want these units to set up conventionally. You to climb the walls there, you climb the walls there, you climb the walls there. You guys patiently wait here to be let in. Cavalry, cavalry, move up. Cavalry in through the breach. completely forgot about you quick line pound the reinforcements Take the gatehouse. Storm in. Let's limber you up. Gonna lose some artillery because I completely forgot about the reinforcements. But I'll take that. Okay, let's unlimber you. You up. Let's get you over here. It's completely fine. Withdraw if possible. Mm, you can attack if you want. You've not got many troops. Straight on to the guns. Guns have fallen. You get up here. Turn their own guns against them. Same with you. Get up here. Turn their own guns against them. Some of you spin around to prepare to defend the very breaches you have attacked. Okay, 
things. Let's redeploy in this fashion. Move into the flank, smash into them with my cavalry. Oh, they did get a volley off before the charge. I used to like to hope that I did something mildly unexpected during this battle. It might not have been efficient. Turn off for a well. Turn off for a well. God, there's one unit of mortars left. Just have a go at them, General. Oh no, these guys have a go at them. time and find out. Oh no, there's one Union 12 pounder of foot artillery all the way out here. Oh, let's end it there. Whew. Or the smartest way, or any sort of positive way. I mean, I won, so it was kind of slightly positive. Um, that's a lot fewer men than I thought I'd lose right there. But yes, primarily, I want to do something better than expected. Oh, so they're getting ready. Hoping I do the same silly thing again, eh? I think that's what their plan is, and it's not gonna work, see? I'm too stupid for that. Wait a minute. There is Sweet. There is land suitable for plantations in this region. Power is blockaded. Your nation's export capacity. Cool, so let's get some more tea. Let's get some more spices. Let's knock them out of the war. Rebuild. Replenish. Yep, I'm already in here. Recruit. Construct. Yeah, everyone's already replenished. 
do I have any schools here? No, good. And I've got two trade. Pla oh, actually, I'll so this is a dockyard. This is a trade port, global trading company actually. And this is I'm going to build into a trade port. Abundant yield gems, average yield tea warehouse. Good infrastructure. Seminary, let's destroy you. I'll probably build a religious school down here. Good infrastructure again. Let's upgrade that. Boom. So great you and I workshops. Can't agree with you. At some point I am gonna to have to go around and do a full on infrastructure upgrade. And I've still got these three sieges up here to the northeast to deal with. But nevertheless, we have made some serious gains. And the Maratha the Mughal Empire, sorry, is quickly falling into irrelevance. Anyway, looking at the timer, I've overrun a bit, so Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.